Our identity in Christ is righteousness. We need to know who we are in Christ. And we're going to learn in 2 Corinthians 5, 21, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I want us to focus on this scripture, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 through 21. And this is just a, an awesome, awesome passage of scripture. And I want to focus really on the verse 21, but to get there, with, with, I want to start with verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they're, they're a new creation. We're a new creation. This is the new creation has come. This is where Jesus died and took all the sin, all the curse on the cross. We died with him. A new creation has happened. And we, he came to redeem what he wanted in the Garden, Garden of Eden, Eden before the fall, before sin. So he came and redeemed with a new creation has come. The old has gone and the new is here in Christ. If anyone is in Christ, this is in Christ. All this, all of this, all of this, all of this new creation is from God who is reconciling us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. He gave us the ministry of reconciling us to God. Uh, and this is our ministry, that God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting people's sins against them, because Jesus took all of us. We were crucified with Christ. We no longer live. We live in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message, the understanding, uh, the declaration of reconciliation that we can stand as righteous, justified before holy God. We are therefore the messengers. We are Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. He is appealing. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Hear the message of the new creation, the message of reconciliation, the message of hope, the message of victory that we have in Christ. In Christ, not anything that we do, but it's what Christ did in on the cross, dying on the cross, and going into the pit of hell, taking all of the sin, dying spiritually, dying physically, and taking, and we died with him, we rose with him, and the divine exchange, which is coming right now in the next verse. God made him, Jesus, who had no sin, who was no sin, to be sin. So he had to descend, he had to die. He died eternally, he died physically for all mankind, for us. And I love the so that's in the Bible. And this is such an important part, so that in him, we might become the righteousness of God. So what this is saying, this is the divine exchange the great substitution our sins for his righteousness so we are our identity we are the righteousness of god in christ jesus he who had no sin became sin so that the whole so that of the cross the death the death of the cross the curse was taken Sin was taken, sickness and disease was taken, so that we, so that we can have eternal life that that was taken from us when Adam believed and trusted the prince of this world, Satan. So God had to take over the rule of Satan and defeat Satan. So we have eternal life in Christ, that we died with Christ, so that we'll never ever die again, because we are, we are spiritual beings, we are eternal beings, and death came in through Adam, but life came in through Jesus Christ, and we have the gift of righteousness through Jesus Christ.